Hello dear student, how are you? I hope that you are all fine today. This is Mrs. Rasad from Science City Mad Nutrition Language School. Today we are going to talk about lesson 1 and year 2, the properties of sound waves. So first of all, we are going to talk about the definition of sound. It is external factor or stimulus. Uh, that effect is the ear causing the sense of hearing. And now, what is the difference between musical tones and uh, noises? Number one, musical tones. They are tones or uniform frequencies and, and comfortable to be heard. And noises, they are sounds of non-uniform uh, uniform frequency and uncomfortable to be heard, such as the loudspeaker and horns or of cars. And now we are going to talk about the applications of the electromagnetic force. We have three different uh, different uh, properties, uh, uh, which are number one, sound pitch; number two, sound intensity; number three, sound quality. First of all, we are going to talk about the sound pitch. It is a property by which it, the ears can distinguish between the harsh and sharp voices. So, high pitched sound is sharp or soft. The voice of women is high pitch; is it is sh it is sharp. The low pitch sound is harsh or rough. The, the voice of man is low pitch as it's harsh. And uh, as you see in this picture, the voice of lion is harsher than the, that of uh, sparrow. Producing sound from vibrating of air column. As the length of vibrating air, air column increases, the sound frequency decreases, so the harshness of sound increases. As the length of, uh, of the vibrating air column decreases, the sound frequency increases, so the, hard, the sharpness of sound increases. Determining the pitch of the tone by using Savard wheel. First, listen to a tone uh, you want to determine its pitch till your ears get this used to, do, to it number two rotate several wheels at the same time uh, one of the the, the gears teeth uh, contact uh, um, a flexible metallic sheet increase the speed of uh, rotation till you hear a sound similar to uh, that of unknown tone Number four, calculate the number of uh, cycles uh, taking place in a, in a specific uh, duration. And by knowing the number of uh, gear teeth, you can determine the frequency of the tone as follows. The sound frequency equals the number of cycles times the number of gear teeth divided by the time in second. Number two, the sound intensity. It is a property by which the, the ears can distinguish between strong and weak sounds. And the measuring unit of sound intensity is watt per meter square. And the factors affecting the sound intensity, there are five factors. Number one, the, dens the distance between the ears and the sound source. Number two, the amplitude, the vibrating of, of the of vibration of the source uh, sound source. Number th three, the area of vibrating surface. Number four, the medium density through which the uh, sound travels, it propagates, and the wind direction. Number one, the distance between the ear and the, t the sound source. Intensity of sound at a point uh, is, uh, uh, is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between uh, the point and the sound, uh, sound uh, source, and this is known as the inverse square law of sound. The inverse square law of sound is the intensity of sound at a point is inversely proportional to the square uh, of the distance between the point and the sound source. So the sound intensity uh, inversely proportional to the square distance. What does it mean to avoid the distance between the sound source and ear increases twice? The distance of sound decreases two quarters. The distance between the sound source and ear decreases to half. The distance the intensity of sound increases to four times its value and give reason the intensity of sound increases four times when the distance between the sound source and the ear decreases to its half value give reason because the sound intensity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the ear and the sound source okay 
to identify the effect of amplitude of the sound source of the sound intensity you should make this experiment so the sound intensity decreases gradually by by decreasing the amplitude of the vibration and the sound intensity is directly proportional to the square to um, to the amplitude of the vibration of the sound source Okay, and now we are going to talk about number three, the area of the vibrating surface. You should do this experiment, and the poisonous box increases the vibrating surface area. And what about the conclusion? As you see in this picture, sound intensity increasing by increasing the vibrating surface area when the source of sound touches a poisonous box. And don't forget that the stringed musical instruments such as guitar and the violin that string are fixed above the empty bottom box resonance box to increase the sound intensity and the good reason the sound intensity increases when the sound source touches a poisonous box because uh, or due to the increases increase in the uh, vibrating surface area number four the medium density density uh, you should do this experiment and the conclusion is sound intensity decreases by decreasing the density of the sound of the medium and vice versa. The sound intensity is directly proportional to the density of the medium in which sound travel. Give reasons. Sound intensity in case of uh, presence of carbon dioxide gas as a medium is higher than that of, uh, case of air. Because the uh, density of carbon dioxide gas is more than that of air, since the density of sound is directly proportional to the density of the medium. 5. The wind's direction. The intensity of sound increases when the direction of sound the waves propagation uh, is in the same direction of wind. And the intensity of sound uh, decreases when the direction of sound waves propagation is in uh, the opposite is the opposite direction of wind. Number three, the sound quality or the sound type. It is a property by which the human ear can distinguish between the different sounds according to the nature of uh, the source, even if they are equal in intensity and pitches. What are the meaning of harmonic tones? They are tones that accompanied the fundamental or basic tone, but they are higher in pitch, in pitch and lower in intensity and differ from one instrument to another. Give reason. The human ears distinguish between sounds uh, from different sources even if, if, the, the, uh, if they are equal in intensity and pitch due to the difference in harmonic tones and associate the, the fundamental tone that produced from the source of sound. And this is the comparison between the sound waves according to their frequencies, infrasonic, sonic, ultrasonic. They are sound waves of uh, frequencies lower than 20 hertz and the sonic between uh, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and the ultrasonic higher than 20 kilohertz. Give reason. Dogs can hear all sounds produced from men. Because the range of sound produced by human lies within the range of sound heard by dog. Men can hear sound produced by a dolphin or bat. Because a dolphin or bat produces ultrasonic waves while the human ears um, can't hear sounds of frequencies more than 20 kHz. And some real life applications of ultrasonic waves for medical. Number one, breaking down kidney and ureter stones without any surgical uh, operations. Number two, diagnosis of male prostate gland uh, tumors and its effect of bl bladder. Number three, discovering uh, mal uh, uh, malignant tumors. Number uh, four, industries, uh, sterilizing uh, sterilization of food and fall military, uh, the discovery of landmines. And thank you so much. See you later. Goodbye.